switch. Hello, my name is uh, Philip Hale. I'm from the uh, Diné, or Navajo Nation, and uh, I'm a lifelong uh, community member here at, within the uh, American Indian community of uh, Los Angeles, Southern California. My name is uh, Kevin Hale. I am a social worker for United American Indian Involvement, uh, the Robert Sundance Family Wellness Center component. I'm of UAII, um, I, I'm a member of the Dene Nation, uh, my clans are uh, Kishichini and Totogoji. My parents, you know, um, they try to keep us, uh, uh, teach us our traditions the best they could here in the urban area. They were uh, students of, uh, of the boarding school era taken out, taken from their, their uh, family's home and placed in a boarding school, Sherman Indian School in Riverside. And there they grew up in that school. Um, we were kept there until they graduated high school. And then, so we all picked up something from our parents. And that's what we bring to, to United American Indian involvement and our communities. That's what we share with them as our, as our parents teach them. Our parents' values, our parents, the principles that um, that are ingrained in that culture. You know, it's, it's for centuries, and it's it's in our DNA. We can't, you know, we can never get rid of it. You know, a lot of people, they, you know, they say, "Oh, I don't know anything about my culture." You take them to a powwow, and they hear that drum beating, and they feel that heartbeat of that earth coming, and it just takes them over. And before that power is open, they're, they're out there dancing with everybody else. What I usually tell younger guys is um, learn all you can from your elders. Um, when, when one generation, you know, uh, dies off and then uh, there's a lot of knowledge that also dies off with, with them. Just remember, you'll always have your, your Indian world and your non-Indian world. So um, uh, don't forget who you are, your identity, and where you come from, your Indian side, your Indian world. Um, you know, it would, that would be good to know also. So, um, you know, that's, that's what I think uh, when, I, when I think of natives in the now.
my man who loves the blues. Day or night, I'm playing the blues. Love the music, deep down so I'm walking and talking, playing the blues. I'm a blues loving man. From my soul into your hands, music makes you all a dance. Loving me I'm a sinner I'm a saint I'm a preacher Don't be late Love the music Deep down so I'm walking and talking Playing the blues I'm a blues loving man From my soul into your hands you wanna dance? I'm a blue loving man, loving man. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, 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 oh. the blues day or night i'm playing the blues love the music deep down so i'm walking and talking playing the blues i'm a blues loving man from my soul into your hands music makes you want to dance i'm a blue loving man I'm Chasha Wiki Veep, Tracy Lee Nelson from the La Jolla Reservation. Hope everybody's doing good. Here's a little one. Indeed, it was no respect. Yes, I'm tired of walking around with no respect. Yes, I'm tired of walking around with no respect. It's been going on too long. Natives, no respect. You got your Cherokee Jeeps, your Navajo cars, selling our image for a profit in cars. Tired of walking around with no respect, baby, no respect. It's been going on too long. Natives, no respect. You got your Cherokee Jeeps, your Navajo cars, selling our image for a profit in cars. Tired of walking around with no respect, baby, no respect. It's been going on too long. Natives, no respect. I said, no, 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 I'm not your mascot. I said, no, 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 I'm not your mascot. It's been going on too long. Need is no respect. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's been going on far too long. Time to change the names. Come on. A little respect. Yeah. All right. That's where the blues comes from. Yes, I'm tired of walking around with no respect. Yes, I'm tired of walking around with no respect. 
It's been going on too long. Need us no respect. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not your mascot. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not your mascot. It's been going on too long. Need us no respect. It's been going on far too long. Need us no respect. It's been going on far too long. Need us no respect. Yeah, all right, all right. Hope you guys enjoy that one. A little natives, no respect. It's been going on far too long. <laughs> yeah, here's a nether. This is for all you guys out there uh, kind of cruising around. And... Yeah! Cheating on me, cheating. I know you're cheating on me. I see in your eyes the guilt and the lies. I know you're cheating. I know you're cheating on me. I know you're kind. You think I'm blind. You think I'm gullible and can't tell the time. Those late night calls, I've heard them all. It's time to pack your bags and get out my door. I know you're cheating. I know you're cheating on me. Yeah. I see in your eyes the guilt and the lies. I know you're cheating. I know you're cheating on me. Those late night calls. I've heard them all. It's time to pack your bags and get out my door. I know you're cheating. I know you're cheating on me. Yeah, baby. I can see the lay in your eyes, the guilt and the lies. I know you're cheating. I know you're cheating on me. Cheating. I know you're cheating on me. I know you're cheating, baby. In the middle of the night, you get up and you answer that phone. I got my eyes on you. <laughs> yeah, no more cheating. I know you're cheating on me. Baby, I know. Cheating. I know you're cheating on me. Hey, I see in your eyes. The guilt and the lies, I know you're cheating. I know you're cheating on me. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Levitt LA. Bienvenidos a Levitt LA. This one or this one? This one, oh, okay, okay. Since 2007, we make music accessible to all. Hacemos que la música sea accesible para todo. Free live music. Free live music. Gratis todo el verano. All summer long. No importa quién seas, eres bienvenido en nuestros conciertos. No matter who you are, you are welcome at our concerts. We create stronger and more connected communities. We are diverse. Somos diversos. Dynamic. And off the city. We are multi-generational. Unique, talented, y de la gente. <laughs> Una vez que somos amigos, siempre seremos amigos. Once we are friends, we are friends for life. MacArthur Park is our home. MacArthur Park es nuestro hogar. Y estamos orgullosos del parque. And we are park proud. We are Los Angeles. Somos Los Angeles. Somos Levit LA. We are Levitt LA. We are Levitt LA. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
I've been trying to make an artwork about Los Angeles since 2014, but I can only see National Boulevard through a kaleidoscope and my blood runs cold when I look at the place where the lost and found bar is supposed to be. I stand on a hill with artist Emilia Scarnolita looking at hovering helicopters. Two hours after the 5 p.m. LA curfew and six hours after Santa Monica's 1 p.m. curfew. The helicopters hover, watching for a sign. I am too shaky, so Amelia takes these two beautiful tracking shots with a calm eye. The sky is beautiful and disgusting. The air is full of cremated bodies, smoke from raging fires, the exhaled breath of cops. LA closes in on my mind like one of the 19 police helicopters that circle where I sleep. Helicopter exhaust streams into the window, mixed with highway exhaust. On a subatomic level, I am diffracting into LA smog. It's election night and artist Riel Bello teaches me a lullaby in Spanish. We talk star maps and light cones and strange overlaps in time and space. What are the chances my partner's grandfather would spend the end of his life sitting daily in the lost and found bar? How did I always get a call from the lost and found when I would sneak to LA to rave? What are the chances I went to a pool party in July where I ran into my partner's dad's chiropractor and his neighbor, permanent frequenters of the lost and found? One of my closest friends in the rave scene takes his partner to the lost and found before every flight? How much of me is diffracted across generations? Am I in the lost and found? Los Angeles was one of the cities where the Bureau of Indian Affairs, through a policy called the Indian Relocation Act, promised support for Indian relocation to major cities and the termination of treaty promised government support on reservations. I can only imagine why my 21-year-old grandmother would have boarded a bus and headed here, thousands of miles away from South Dakota. I can imagine it would have something to do with Roswell Bottom the presiding judge who found her two white male mid-twenties assaulters not guilty when she was only 16. I can imagine it has something to do with getting pregnant and not being able to tell a soul. LA is a collapsing neutron star. At once, it refracts Indian Alley, where I have seen archival photos from the urban American Indian involvement, scanning them slowly for a flash of my grandmother or my grandfather. But they handle the photos with white gloves, flipping them slowly so they can respectfully decline to show me any of the images of passed out drunks. Downtown LA shifts and refracts a hundred raves in the toy district, and then I'm staring out of the smoking section of the lash while Indian Alley stares back. American Indian men are between 1.2 and 1.7 times more likely to be killed by the police than are white men, and American Indian women are between 1.1 and 2.1 times more likely to be killed by police than our white women. Indians are unfixed. They disappear into the in-betweens. The boundary between demographics, the valley of other. The origin of the LAPD, the largest police force in the world, is the Los Angeles Raiders, a posse founded in 1850 to pursue Indian Raiders, contributing to the California genocide. In June, I stare out from the corner of Hollywood and Vine, the National Guard, LAPD and LA Sheriff's Department stare back. Cops make me shake. The piece that we just saw I, was a recent commission for Fulcrum Arts, um, which is an organization in Los Angeles. Uh, it involves uh, text uh, with uh, three different videos that I made over the course of the pandemic, um, all of which come from footage uh, from a project I'm working on with a group called LA uh, Bird Watchers. It's, a, it's an interdisciplinary, inter interdisciplinary group of scientists, um, technologists, and uh, artists where we're, uh, we became uh, very concerned with uh, the presence um, and over-policing of LA helicop LAPD helicopters. And, um, but there was, I, I needed like an outlet to make um, to make some, to think about what it means to me to be policed in Los Angeles. Sky.
got to choose. He's riding back and forth on that iron horse that's new. Oceanside to Chatsworth, along the coast of Cali. Yes, he's young and he's bright and he's smart enough to know what's right. Steamroller's coming, it's always on time. Led by the engine, it'll take you for a ride through mountains and valleys along the coast of Cali. Dedicate this one to. Uh, this one goes out to the uh, two and two hundred and fifteen lost souls. The light shimmering from his cross. He held a book up high, said he'll save all of our souls. We got burned by the man in the cross and rose. You must do what the good book says from the man in the cross and robes. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery in the eyes of the Lord. Then why? Oh, why genocide? You must do what the good book says From the man in the cross and robes Cross and robes You got a meeting with the cross and robes You got a meeting with the cross and robes You got a meeting with the cross and robes and, and if you're not civilized you got a meeting with the cross and rolls. Hey! This should never have happened. It's all wrong. is not alive, a spirit's not a man, an eagle's not a god, your beliefs are heathenness, words from a non-believer, you must do what the good book says, from the man in the cross and robes, cross and robes, you got a meeting with the cross and robes. 
You got a meeting with the cross and robes. You got a meeting with the cross and robes. And if you're not civilized, you got a meeting with the cross and robes. Cross and robes. You got a meeting with the cross and robes. You got a meeting with the cross and robes. You got a meeting with the cross and robes. You're not civilized, you got a meeting with the cross and robes. And let's do what the good book says from the man in the cross and robes. All right. Dedicate that to all the families out there. All right, this is another one. Uh, thank you, everybody. I'm going to bring, hopefully bring up everybody's uh, uh, <laughs> the happiness. I, I'm going to break out of that uh, the, the sadness stuff. The sad songs. Here's the happy one, all right? Here we go. This one's uh, from an old band I used to play with and uh, have the honor of playing with them at the Super Bowl 96. And uh, uh, this one goes out to uh, Lolly and... Uh, <laughs> And Pat and all the guys. And Joey out there. I know you're out there, Joey, still. All right. Pete the Pogue. All right. It's for you guys. You're mine and you're fine and you look so divine. Come and get your love. 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 Hey, hey, what's the matter? Don't you feel right? Don't you feel right, baby? Hey. You're mine and you're fine and you look so divine. Come and get your love. 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 Come and get your love now. Come and get your love. Come and get your love. Come and get your love now. Come and get your love, come and get your love, come and get your love now. Come and get your love, come and get your love, come and get your love now. Come and get your love. 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 Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'd like to thank uh, UAII and the uh, and all the other uh, committee members and everybody for inviting me to come up and perform for you guys. You guys take care. Hopefully, we'll see you on the road. All right, be be safe. Mask up, everybody. Llegó el verano y no hay verano sin una buena parrillada. Arma tu equipo parrillero con food. El master chef. El botanero. El DJ. Y no puede faltar un buen catador. Comparte con nosotros una foto o video de tu equipo parrillero usando productos food. Además, participa en la rifa de 200 kit food para la parrilla. Son más de 40 mil dólares en premios. Participa y gana este verano con food. Food, welcome to the family. Uh, so uh, right now I'm a staff writer on a show called Spirit Rangers on Netflix, which I'm so excited about. It's the um, 
the first ever kids animated series in the United States to have a native showrunner, Chris of Valencia, an all native writers room and uh, native actors. It's due out in, I think 2022, but uh, it's gonna be really good. I and mean, then I'm also um, freelance writing on Molly of Denali on PBS and then uh, working on a, an animated short film uh, with Comedy Central that I wrote and pro providing kind of the main voice for. And uh, something that like I love about all of these projects that I'm working on is they're so like native heavy, which is uh, very rare in Hollywood, I think up until fairly recently, to uh, work on a native show with native characters. And there are also native directors, native artists, you know, native talent voicing native characters. So um, yeah, I'm really excited about what I'm working on. How about you? What are you working on? My biggest thing recently has been a co-star role on Rutherford Falls. Yay. So I'm really excited about that. And it's a fantastic show. It has a native storyline that is so compelling. Um, we have a major star in it, Ed Helms, but Janish Mendig, who is um, a fantastic Lakota actress, is, is just amazing in it. I've never had that experience working on a set where the native showrunner comes up to me and starts talking to me and working with me. And we had a native director, Sydney Freeland, who's Navajo, working with us. And it, it's just, overwhelming in that you feel so supportive. Uh, what kind of pulled me into the entertainment industry and uh, you know working in Hollywood was uh, initially I was, um, I grew up on the Tulalip Reservation in Washington State and um, I went to high school just off the reservation and the high school had a morning announcements news program and you know like what I loved most about it was uh, reporting kind of the weather for this, do, doing kind of the wacky weather report for it and to me, that thought, that the thought entered my head of like, oh, I want to work in comedy, I like being a comedian, but I don't really see any, you know, native comedians on TV right now. So like the way that I could get paid to make people laugh is to be a small market TV weather guy. You know, I think it's very isolating being a native person um, in this country. Um, I, my start was in high school in drama class and you know I was my family we were the only native kids in our high school and um, when I graduated I, I got into UCI University of California Irvine uh, I found this this great theater company Native Voices of the Autry and started working with them and it was such a revelation to have a place where there are native actors native playwrights native you know directors a whole shebang and um, it was, it really helped me. I feel like something that a lot of non-natives and I think natives don't necessarily get about Los Angeles is like, there is a vibrant creative native community in Los Angeles of people doing really great work. Right. Like Native Voices is definitely like, you know, one of the one of the centerpieces of it. There's a lot of like really great native stand-up comedians, a lot of really great native filmmakers coming out through Sundance and places mm -hmm. like that. Um, and, you know, there def it definitely has been a challenge in the entertainment industry when working on shows where I'm the only native in the room of having to explain these just like basic 101 things to people and then pitching my story about native things. And, uh, you know, I think that that's something that with the influx and the, the rising up of Native Hollywood and all these really great shows coming out, Rutherford Falls, Spirit Rangers, uh, Reservation Dogs with Sterling Harjo, that like we are starting to see so many more natives getting into power positions. And uh, we're seeing so many, um, you know, executives at networks taking chances on native stories that I, f I see that challenge going away. And, but like it definitely sucked to go through, but it's getting better. How about you? So um, I think there's what's great about Rutherford Falls and Reservation Dogs and what you're doing is it shows the diversity of Native peoples. We don't all look like Lakota. We don't all look like Pocahontas. We don't, you know, have all have the long straight hair and, you know, perfect little Disney body there. Um, and, and that's good. I mean, there's Alaska Natives, there's, you know, Hopis, there's, you know, sometimes we're brown, round and low to the ground. Sometimes, <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of different, you know, ways we look and act and think, you know, there's diversity of opinion. We're, you know, we've got Native Republicans, we've got, you know, a lot of diversity in our, our culture and our languages and our peoples. I think about how growing up I didn't see any native comedians on TV and it made it feel like I couldn't work in the entertainment industry. So for me to see an abundance of really great native comedians now is awesome and I love to see it, to see comedy show bills full of native talent. But whenever I do these shows or go to these shows, I look into the audience and we'll see like elders that are loving it 
a million times more than me because they've been waiting so much longer than I am for this. So like I like I feel just this great sense of pride that like we're able to give that to like elders that have been you know waiting their whole lives to see stories like theirs on TV. And you know, speaking to anybody that's watching this, if you're interested in working in the entertainment industry as a native person, this is the best time to get in and do that because we we need you to help us tell these stories. Like you said, there's so much opportunity, and there's so much so much we have to offer, and it's and there's people out there that are being very receptive to it. So something that we've touched on a little bit is living as a Native American person in a big metropolitan city like Los Angeles can definitely feel really isolating. And it's so amazing to have a place like United American Indian Involvement as a home base where we can connect and have um, mutual experiences that bring us together. And that made me feel so good. Um, I didn't know how much I missed it. I mean, I did know, but I mean, even right now, I'm getting, you know, emotional about it because we need that. We need community. And UIII is, is just indispensable. Our native population, we're here. We're still here and we're thriving. I enjoy giving back. I enjoy um, just um, the camaraderie of, of meeting and talking with the native community and letting everybody know that we're um, here to help out any way we can. For me, I mean, UAII is doing something that is kind of a double benefit. They're not only providing help and relief, but they're showing that there's a presence of the indigenous you know, community. And I also grew up in the Native American community, also within UAII. So they've actually kind of installed a lot of community with me by being a part of my life and creating that development for me as a child to teens to young adult until who I am today. So it's very gratifying being able to be a part of the program and also giving back to the community and how they helped me in those ways especially during these tough times. Love It LA is for everyone. Because music is for everyone. La música es para todos. It's a place where people come together from all walks of life. Es un lugar donde todos se unen de todos caminos de la vida. To be inspired and feel alive. Para gozar la música y sentirse inspirados y vivos. We co-curate our concerts with dozens of partners from LA and the world. Co-curamos conciertos con docenas de socios de Los Ángeles y el mundo. We invite over 150 performing artists at 50 concerts every summer but we don't do it alone. Please donate today at levitlosangeles.org or through Venmo. Pero no lo hacemos solos. Por favor, dona noy, levitlosangeles.org. O por Venmo. Levit LA loves you. And we'll see you again soon. Levit LA te ama. Y nos vemos pronto. Welcome back. Wow, what a performance by Tracy Lee Nelson. Now, we're joined by a wonderful performer, Kelly Caballero. She's a singer, a songwriter, a performer, a poet, a jeweler, and her body of work highlights 
the multifaceted and complex lives of Native peoples here living in the urban settings. Join me in welcoming Cabby, Kelly Caballero. Thank you so much for having me, Levitt, Los Angeles, and United American Indian Involvement. My name is Kelly Caballero, and I'm Tongva. This is my ancestral homeland, and I'm so grateful to share my original music with you. But to begin, I offer this song, you may know it, titled Shelter from the Storm by Bob Dylan. Twas in another lifetime, one of toil and blood, when blackness was a virtue. on hard nails 
these next two songs that I'm about to sing are my original tunes. This first one is titled Mountains. And what a special evening to share this song with you on my ancestral homelands with the mountains. I dedicate this to everyone who's gone through something during COVID. And I get emotional because I was there with you guys going through this. to offer you his medicine, this song. I dedicate this to everyone who's, who went through something and or who's going through something.
Thank you. So much love for Edgar on the guitar and Reyes on the bass. And thank you again, Levitt Los Angeles and United American Indian Involvement. And this is for all the Angelinos out there that have to drive two hours just to be in some kind of nature, to be alone with the trees and find some clean running water. This song has been written for all of you living in the city. The song is titled Anywhere, another original. They say I'm like a dolphin, just going with the motion, just riding the waves and just going through the motions. They say I'm like a butterfly floating in the wind, going this way and that way. I ain't following, but I feel like a hummingbird. It gets my heart racing when I think about this life and how it'll all be forsaken. So I live it on the edge and I push it to the limits to feel like I'm living. trade winds blow I'll go anywhere that the sun shines I'll follow anywhere that the clear waters flow I'll go anywhere Ooh. there's so many doctors just living in the city caught in the trap that they call success and good living but i know that ain't for me and it's not in my ways i'm trying to escape i'm trying to leave this place and go where the open road meets the open skies and on the journeys where the truth and lies so i need no destination i just need to be free i'll be at peace with nature so So much love at Los Angeles and United American Indian Involvement and for all the communities involved. Thank 
you, Kelly. Oh my gosh, was that a wonderful performance. If you want more of Kelly like I do, please visit her on her website, on her social media. Support Native artists any way that you can. Thank you for being here with us virtually tonight. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Natives in the Now as part of the unique, one-of-a-kind Barrio Fino. Please join us tomorrow night for Gusto a Guatemala. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you.